So what are, what are the profound goals for exploring a planet like Mars? First and foremost, the goals flow down from ennobling questions. Are we alone? What is our destiny? And at Mars, we can address those goals. And this is one of the unique aspects of exploring the planet Mars. We can ask the question, are we alone, through asking very simply, as a goal, was Mars ever biologically active? Could we ever see the signs of past life, however it may have been manifested, or even today, modern or extant life? Now, those are tough questions, really challenging goals anywhere, even here on Earth. So we attack those goals, not only from the side of biology and the biological reconnaissance of Mars, but through other windows into how a planet might have, might have been biologically active. On Mars, we have a climate history. It's a planet with a profound history of changing climate. We see that today. So one of our goals is to understand the climate history of Mars and whether in that history there were ever periods in time that were more climatically favorable to things like life as we understand it on Earth. But also to read the record books of climate on Mars to inform how our own climate on Earth has evolved and worked and been perturbed. Mars is a climate system, so is Earth. By comparing the two, we learn. So that's a goal. Also, as we look at a planet, any planet, we have to work from the interior out. Planets are born hot, they evolve. That history, the history we call thermal evolution, of the solid planet from the interior to the crust is the context in which you develop life, if it exists, can provide the energy systems and the chemistry for life. It also can interact with the climate system, produce records that we read in the rocks, in the landforms, in the ice sheets, or whatever. So for Mars, our goals embrace understanding the history of life, asking whether we can approach it through climate, looking at the solid planet in the interior, and finally, as an ultimate question in exploration, can we go there? What are the prospects to prepare the way for the ultimate voyage for humanity, at least in the near term, that is, imagining human beings exploring Mars themselves there, boots or feet or whatever on the ground. And that goal is challenging, it couples to all the science, and it relates also to the safety of human exploration in such a distant locale off our own planet. When we go to Mars, we will be introducing ourselves as life to the Mars system. We need to do so very carefully. Now, a common question with all that, then, is where do we get these goals from? So the goals for Mars exploration come from a community-based interaction that has been ongoing for several decades, really. They start in a bottoms-up way in which science works. We ask questions. We use, we use processes such as peer review to judge which investigations get funded. At the level of the entire science community, these have bubbled up into a series of profound questions which have become goals. Those things are refined in interactions with august groups such as the National Academy of Sciences. On a period of every 10 years, more or less, these groups get together, they poll the community, the science community, all interested parties. They collect information, they hold town halls, they reach out as far as they can, and then they consolidate them into a set of concrete goals with recommendations to NASA for how to explore Mars. Periodically, also, the community gets involved, and they rally behind emerging new discoveries to tailor the goals a little because we learn new things, and that's been the history of Mars exploration. So it's really a people's program at the level of the science community and, in fact, also the engineering community who actually help us actually achieve the science. So our goals are very simple. They come from the community. They're tuned by discoveries. And we move forward to the day when we can ask effectively, at Mars, are we alone?